Men just they will teach you some things and hold some. <laughs> you know, on a, you know, let's say you believe God, you know, you want to you want to look at a topic. A teacher can teach you some and hold some, especially if they have a financial interest mm -hmm. in what they are teaching. Mm -hmm. They will teach you something at the beginning, they will now slot in their own interest so that they can take you for granted, so that they can take you for granted and possibly take money from your pocket. Mm -hmm. But if you have learned to be taught of the Holy Ghost, you know, as you to you are a carrier of the Holy Ghost, is in your temple, mm -hmm. nobody can exploit you. Mm -hmm. And let me also add this. Some teachers, they will teach you all that they have or they can teach you. But I don't think they can teach you everything. Okay. And why is that? Because they can't sit with you 24-7. Okay. No okay. teacher can sit with you 24-7. Mm. They can even tell you to go and look at our videos or go and look mm -hmm, at this. Mm -hmm, but they can't mm -hmm. sit with you 24-7. Mm. So it's not possible for them to teach you everything. It's not that they are trying to withhold okay. information. Okay. They can't sit with you 24-7. They are not given to sit with you 24-7. That's, that's true. That's Only true. the Holy Ghost is given to us 24-7. Mm. To teach us 24-7. Mm. And he's our counselor. He's mm. our advisor. He's our helper. Mm. Mm. He's the one that can teach us. Whether it's the daytime or in the nighttime, at any point in time, he can mm. teach us. Mm. Mm. So, even when the teacher is not there, the Holy Ghost is a there. A man is limited because he's human, a human being. Wow. 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 Th thanks for, thanks for rubbing that, in, you know, for saying that, <laughs> saying that in. So, you know, that's the word for us. You know, as we are said, we are not saying be rebellious to teachers. Mm. Say, now, I don't want to hear from any other person because now I have the Holy Spirit. But your primary teacher, your source, mm. should be the Holy Ghost. You know, once you begin to learn how to spend time with the Holy Spirit and receive teachings, teachings from Him, yes, be yes. taught by Him. And interestingly, it will also, it can even show you which teacher to go to. Yes, it can show you mentors that you can go to. Yeah. and you don't need to know the mentors even. Uh, you don't need to know them personally. Uh -huh. Maybe they have tapes, they have books. Yes, that you can read. Interesting, interestingly. You know, God can give you mentors, you know, in yes. the body of Christ. He will yes. just show you, okay, go and, go and listen to this person. Yes. Be hearing him mm. or be hearing her. Mm. Can give you even a name. You okay. just wake up in the, in the morning with somebody's name. Mm -hmm. And you go and Google the person, who is this? Okay, <laughs> let me listen to him. That God, the Holy Ghost has told me to listen to this man. Let mm. me listen and glean what I need to glean. Mm. And in, mm. many, in many cases, when he gives you a name oh, yeah. a person or is pointing you to a particular person, when you have learned from him, he can even now start talking and even go beyond what that person has said. Has taught. Mm. And now bring more scriptures okay. and teach you. Mm. 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 Because he's the teacher, he has teaching tools. Mm. Mm. Just as a natural teacher has teaching tools, mm. he too has teaching tools. Mm. So it can direct you to mentors, to mm. people that you can learn from, mm. so that you can increase. Okay. So what I've been able to see so far is that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm. And it lives on the inside of you. I am mm. his mm. temple. And it lives on the inside of me. I have a well. <laughs> we, you know, I have a well of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And, and don't let anybody tell you that it is until you get into a big building. Uh, it's, it's very ridiculous. So many, so many of God, they will tell you, ah, you know, they will show you how big their, you know, their place of worship is. Mm. And they will be telling you, this is where God is living. Mm. God is living in this place of worship. That is an error. <laughs> God is living on the side of you. Whether you oh, go yes. and stand, you go and sit under a tree. Mm. You know, the Bible says, we are two or three that together in my name. There I am in their midst. Oh, yes. you, can be, you can sit in, 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 under a tree, four of you. Mm. God is in each of you and is in your midst. Mm. You can you know you can live you can stay in a li in your living room, mm. two or three of you together in your living room. God is in each of you and is with you there. Yeah. And you can also you know uh, 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 go to a building mm. that we call church, although even people don't even define church correctly. Uh -huh. Church is not the building. Mm. No 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 no. Church, I mean the building is a place where. I would say maybe you know, we have to touch these guys together. <laughs> or, <you> know, <laughs> I 
I will say the church. The people are the church. The not people. The building. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, sweetheart. The people are the church, and not the building. So the people that are the church, that who are the church, can go and gather together anywhere. So the church can gather under a tree. The church can gather in a room. The church can gather together in a building. The church can gather together in a hotel. Even this time, the church can gather together on the web. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, for example, those who are joining us now, you know, we are having fellowship together. Mm. You know, we are hearing from God together. Mm. We can gather together in a web. Mm. We are having a conference in a web. On the web. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. On the web. Thank you very much. <laughs> on the web. <laughs> that, that's for the correction. We know. We know. We can. We can. We can. There's the healing we experience inside the four four walls mm. that people call church. That same healing we can experience under a tree. Oh yes. We can experience that in our place of work. Oh, yes. We can experience that online. Mm. People are being healed online. Mm. Yes. The power of God has gone forth of, you know, from broadcasting online, on television, mm. on Facebook, mm. or YouTube. Why? Because God is not confined to a location. To a location. No, it's an error. Mm. So don't let anybody tell you that until you come to a location, you can't be blessed. Or you cannot hear from God. Mm. Why? Because you are a carrier of the well. Mm. The person who will teach you all things. Mm. The person mm. who will speak to you 24 7 mm. lives on the inside of you. Mm. It's a matter of you drawing from who you are. Who you have. On drawing the yeah, from who you have on the inside in the person of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, also, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, was, was compared to a wine by Apostle Paul. Yeah, I think in, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse uh, 11. Yeah, mm. Ephesians 5. And, be, and be not filled with wine, mm -hmm. wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. Thank you Speaking very much. to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Hallelujah. Singing with melody your heart unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So be ye filled with the Spirit. We are told here, we are admonished here to be filled by the Spirit. Does that mean that we have to go back and be asking for the infilling of the Holy Ghost? No. If we look at that place, it tells us, speaking to yourself. Mm. The next verse tells us what, how to be filled with the Spirit. Mm. Mm. Because he was talking to the Ephesians. Yeah, the Ephesians. Yeah, earlier. yeah, Ephesians. Yeah. 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 That the Ephesians have already been filled with the Spirit. Yeah, you can get so, that in the book. Acts, Acts 19, 1 to 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They've already been filled with the Spirit, the Ephesian church. Yeah. But why was he now admonishing them again to mm. be filled with the Spirit? Mm. It's possible they have been drinking physical wine okay. in excess rather than being filled with the Spirit by speaking in tongues. Let's look at the 18 and 19. Okay. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 5, 18 and 19. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> mm. Okay, I will, I will read from here. It says, And be not drunk with wine, in which is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord. To the Lord. So mm. there was a speaking. They didn't stop speaking. Mm. They didn't stop speaking. After being filled, they continued speaking in the Spirit. Mm. Speaking mm. in tongues. We know that the early disciples, they spoke in the Spirit. They spoke in tongues. Mm. They spoke in the Spirit or they spoke in tongues. Yeah. And they also studied the Word of God. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the combination of this caused great grace to be made my, made manifest. Mm. So they couldn't be contained. Mm. So they saw the power of God manifested greatly in their lives because they spent time with the Spirit. Mm. Mm. Speaking, hmm. speaking, 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 speaking to yourself. to yourself in Psalms and spiritual songs. Mm. So important. Mm. Mm. And we know that um, Paul he said that he spoke in tongues more than them all. Hmm. 
Like, wow. thanks God. And mm. our praying in the Spirit. If we look at that one, so yeah. 1 Corinthians tells us. Yeah. 14. 1 Corinthians 14. 13 to 18. I'll just I'll read was, it. That he spoke in tongues more than everybody else. Why would he say something like that? Today, many people will say that he's, ah, that, that's pride. Why would you say that you speak in tongues more than he or? Mm. Hmm. I believe that he could say that because the manifestations that Paul was seeing were not the same, that everybody else were, wasn't yes, the same yeah, yeah. like others. Mm. That's why he could say that. He could say that. Mm. And he didn't say that people should stop speaking in tongues. Mm. Even though in that place too, we are told that we should convert yeah. prophecy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. he didn't say, stop speaking in tongues. Mm. That when you are speaking in tongues, also you are thanking God mm. more than you can do in your natural sense. Let's oh, yeah. read that so okay. that we are not just saying it. <laughs> First Corinthians 14, mm. from verse 13 to, to 18. I will, I will read from here. Mm. Therefore, let him that speaks in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. Mm -hmm. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. Mm -hmm. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. Mm -hmm. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Mm -hmm. Else, when you shall bless with the spirit, mm -hmm. how, shall the, how shall he that occupies the place of the unland say, Amen? Mm -hmm. At your giving of thanks, hmm. seeing he understands not what you said, for you verily give thanks well, hmm. but the other is not edified. Verse eighteen: I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than you all. So speaking in tongues, there was even saying that he was thanking God, giving thanks well, giving thanks well. So hmm. when you are giving thanks well, you do it by praying in the spirit. Hmm. Mm. And because he was doing this much more than everybody else, <laughs> we can see that the manifestation was greater than mm. other people. Mm. 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 The Bible now says that, and God wrought special miracles by, by the hands so. of Paul. Oh, that, is, yes. that is Acts. I think that's Acts nineteen. Mm. Acts nineteen. Uh, I think this is, this is in our next uh, paper. Mm. <laughs> Acts nineteen. So that's yeah, true. yeah. Okay. Acts nineteen says that. And God rose by the hands of Paul, mm. so that the apron taken from his body mm. Mm. was taken, you know, was taken to the sick, and evil spirit departed from them. Mm. I believe that spending time with the Holy Spirit caused such a manifestation. Mm. And people can be saying that uh, that he had time now. Uh, hey, we are going so to we that need place. to look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are told that initially Paul, he was yeah. a tent maker. Mm -hmm. So he was working with his hands, mm. and yet he had the time to pray in the Spirit more than all the Corinthian churches together. So how mm -hmm. did he do this? Mm. While he was working on the tents, he was also praying in the Spirit. Because mm. everybody has 24-7, oh, yes. oh, yes. four hours in a day. Mm. He was working with his hands, and yet great manifestations was taking, were taking place. Were taking place. <laughs> Mm. He didn't leave that job and say, because I want the manifestation, the power of the Holy Ghost to manifest, let me leave my job and just sit down somewhere so that I can buy, so that God will see that I'm committed. Yes, now he cannot use me. He cannot <laughs> use me. He was mm. working with his hands. The Bible tells us that he was working mm. Mm. with his hands so that he could feed himself Feed those that were with him, mm. so that it was, so that it wouldn't be a burden to any person. Mm. 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 And yet the power of God was manifesting. The secret is being shown unto us that he prayed in tongues mm. more than all the Corinthian churches put together. Mm. Mm. So in one case he was working, and yet the power was manifesting. Mm -hmm. In another case, which is Peter, 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 you can see that he was not doing any other work apart from this. And the power was manifesting. Mm. At a time, what happened? We are told that the same works that were wrought yeah. by Peter were wrought also by Paul. By they Paul. looked at everything. <laughs> wow. And they could see that ah, what this man is doing is also similar to what this person is mm -hmm, doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was no difference. 
Mm. So it's not by putting your job aside that power will manifest on 